Hello everyone, you are welcome to Tech Talks on Tech Hub GH. I'm Mary, your host for this session. And on today's conversation, we'll be having a discussion with Mr. Morgan Dako. We'll be looking at how to position yourself as a software developer in Ghana, especially if you're a fresh graduate with no work experience. So we have with us today, Mr. Morgan Dakum. Kindly share a little bit about yourself with us. So I am a lead software engineer with Nalo Solutions Limited, where we build value-added services for the Ghanaian market. Um, I've been in the software development environment for well over five years now, in both junior and senior roles. And I've worked with a number of companies in that time. So um, I have gathered a little bit of knowledge concerning what um, the companies look out for when we talk about um, bringing on either a junior or a senior software developer, the things that we look out for, what we expect, and what we hope to be demonstrated. And that is what we are hoping that today's discussion will throw more light on. Yeah, thank you. So our first question for today's session, uh, can you share with us who a junior software engineer is? Now, in general, we count seniority in software development in terms of how much oversight a person needs in order to accomplish their work. Okay, so there are those who you can explain the task to okay. and you expect that having explained the task, they will go and come back with something that is very well done. Okay. Such a person, you would consider them to be a senior software developer. Okay. However, there are others that you would explain the task to, and then you would want to follow up with them from time to time to ensure that they are following what we call best practices. Okay. And not only that, but they are actually um, getting the work done in the first place okay. and getting the work done following the best practices and that is someone you would consider to be a junior software developer they can write software they can create software however they need more oversight in okay. doing that work yeah okay. that is what a junior is. And that's fine how does someone attain the level of a junior software engineer so when it comes to a junior engineer and not only that much of what constitutes software development especially in ghana has to do with taking data and moving it from one location to another you would think that there are some very wild things being done in the software engineering uh, department however the bulk of the work is moving data from one source to either storage or okay. to another place where it is going to be displayed. Now, there are more specialized stuff, okay? There are some very specialized stuff that generally involves processing data. However, the bulk of the work is moving data from one place to another. Now, to attain the level of a junior software developer, the expectation is that you are able to acquire data and you are able to move it from one place to another. And you are also able to format the data in a way that it can be presented either to a viewer or okay. to another person who is going to make use of that data. And it is not something that is very demanding to attain the level of a junior software developer. Okay. In fact, people who began learning software development three months ago, between three months and six months, you should have reached a level that is considered competent for a junior software developer. In fact, it's a, it's a mistake that many people make when they think that they need to have been writing code for mm -hmm. a year or two years before they even qualify for 
a junior position. That is actually wrong. Okay. Only a few months of code writing is enough to attain the level of a junior software engineer. That's nice. But what are companies looking out for in junior software engineers? What are some of the qualities or skills they look out for? Okay. So first and foremost, every company has what we call a stack. A stack simply refers to the programming languages as well as the software tools that that company uses when they are writing their software. Okay. And whenever there is an opening for a software developer in a company, what they are looking for is anyone, first of all, who has demonstrated ability in their stack. So if the company uses, let's say, Python to write their code, they are looking for someone who has demonstrated ability in writing Python code. Okay. But aside that demonstrated ability in the company stack, there's another thing that we generally also look out for. Sometimes the person applying to the role may not specifically have used your stack. However, they may have used another stack but done something that is similar to what the company does. Okay. okay. So maybe it was not Python you use, you use PHP, but the work you accomplished is similar to the work that is being done at that company. So basically, what we are looking for in a junior software developer is that one, they should have either demonstrated ability in the stack or they should have some theoretical knowledge okay. which we know that we can build on in okay. order for the person to be assimilated into our company. Okay. Uh, the stack here refers to the programming language. Yes. So aside the programming language, let's take a programming language like PHP. Okay. PHP by itself can be expressed in numerous ways. One of the ways that it can be expressed, in fact, the numerous ways it is being used, we generally call them frameworks. Okay. So we have one framework called Laravel. There's another framework called Drupal. And then there are other frameworks like WordPress and so on. So we generally want someone who either has experience with the framework or has done something that is similar to our framework which we use okay. so that we know they can move sideways much easier. Okay, okay. And that explains it. So, so how can a fresh graduate or self-taught programmer position themselves well for a job in Ghana's software development space? Okay, so when it comes to Ghana specifically, you first of all need to understand that Although there are numerous programming languages in existence and numerous frameworks that are out there, there are only a subset of that framework and programming languages which are in highest demand in the Ghanaian market. Okay. Okay. So um, generally, if you want to develop applications for the web, then you can't escape JavaScript. In the Ghanaian market, you need to have learned JavaScript. You need to be competent in using JavaScript. And even with JavaScript, we have numerous JavaScript frameworks. Some of mm. them have been around for more than 10 years. And some of them have been around five years. Some are very, very young. Of the frameworks that are in highest demand, Presently, we have React JS as one of the highest in demand languages. Then there is Vue, which is also in high demand. And finally, there's Angular. Oh. These three frameworks, if you are competent in any one of them, then there is definitely a software developer vacancy somewhere that has your name on it. Okay. I hope our audience are learning something from this session. We'll move on to the next. What are some mistakes that you have noticed many entry-level software engineers make? So when it comes to people who are studying programming, 
in order to join the market. There are certain mindsets which we often carry. In fact, I have personally carried such mindsets <laughs> myself and um, they are categorically false. I'd like to list just three of them. Okay. And the first one is assuming that you need several years of training before you qualify for a junior role. The truth of the matter is it is your competence that matters. There have been numerous places where I've been myself either being interviewed or being the interviewer mm -hmm. and your degree counts for nothing wow. in that situation. We only want to know whether you are competent in moving our data around. Okay. So that's the first mistake we make. We like to think that you need several years of um, training or a degree, but that is not true. A second mistake that we also make is assuming that if there is a vacancy posted and we list the number of abilities we expect the people applying to have, if the role is specifically for a junior developer, we already know at the back of our mind that the person will require supervision and training. Exactly. So if you are missing one, two, or three of the items listed, so go ahead and apply. It may be your lucky day. Yeah. That's nice. Then the third assumption is that the senior software developers actually know more than you. Well, in the sense of they haven't been around, they haven't encountered certain uh, difficulties and overcome them. In that case, they know more than you. But when it comes to the technicality of the language, the framework, what we often see happening is that those who are senior and have been there for several years, they actually know things from several years back, mm -hmm. frameworks mm -hmm. and patterns from several years back. While you who began learning a few years ago are learning the latest Trends. and you are bringing the best from the market into the environment. Yes, you will learn how to work with people, how to meet the industry standard, but you will actually be coming in with something that is very, very valuable that the seniors themselves would want to benefit from. Right. Wow. Thank you. So we'll look at our last question. And uh, it's what is the advice you put out there for any aspiring software engineer? The first thing I'd like to say is that the market for software developers is huge. If you are a software developer, there is a company looking for you. There is a job with your name on it and the rules whether junior whether senior whether principal software engineer they are there in numerous quantities so begin applying now um, several aspiring engineers are stuck in what we call a tutorial hell and oh. basically what tutorial hell is is that they keep watching YouTube videos, learning mm -hmm. from uh, Code Academy, Udemy, etc. They keep thinking that, oh, there's something more that they need to learn before okay. they are ready for the mm -hmm. market. But the truth of the matter is, if you have been studying and you've been consistent for even three years, sorry, even three months, right. If you go all the way to six months learning, you are more than qualified for a lot of the rules wow. that are out there. Wow. So yes, software development is one of the better paying job roles in the market. And you should confidently apply to as many opportunities as you come across. Don't wait for the perfect time wow. because that perfect time never comes. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. So viewers i hope you heard don't wait for the perfect time the perfect time is now thank you for joining us morgan uh, we hope to have more conversations with you guys thank you for joining bye